Anthony here with Eyes on the Game, and I'm here at Mayweather Boxing Club being joined by the man of the hour, always nice to talk to you, Mr. Leonard Ellerby. Um, obviously, we are here for Jesse Vargas' uh, media day and workout. So his fight coming up April 21st against Adrian Broner, can you kind of tell the fans, you know, what they should expect? Oh, they should expect it's a great matchup. Um, obviously, Adrian Broner, four-time world champion. Um, tremendous fighter, one of the biggest names in the sport, has been for quite some time. Um, a, a, a tremendous fighter. Um, it's a 50-50 fight on paper. Um, I think it's going to be uh, a unique style matchup um, with Jesse being the, a, a terrific counterpuncher, being a very good boxer, uh, Adrian being a, a, a very slick um, a slick boxer who can bang, he can box, he can do it all. This is, again, um, it's a great style matchup, and um, it's, it's a big fight for both guys. It's a must win for both guys. Um, in Jesse's case, uh, a win against a big name like Adrian Bronner in the sport, it immediately catapults him in the conversation of the other top welterweights that are out there in the world. Um, again, it's a, it's a great, great fight, and we have a, a tremendous undercard. And it's one of the biggest cars in the entire sport. Yeah, and I know Jesse, uh, when I just interviewed him, he is excited to fight at Barclays Center and his first professional fight in New York. Um, but it will be a catchweight fight. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Um, the the catchweight, uh, both guys agreed to it. Uh, Jesse, uh, he's brought in a uh, nutritionist for this uh, particular camp. And um, I don't think he's going to have any problems making weight. Adrian Braun is uh, in tremendous shape. Um, and it, again, it's, it's, it's going to be a very, very interesting, exciting, entertaining fight. And I can't wait. Yeah, and also, I have to ask you, because being here in Las Vegas, I know uh, you guys have so many exciting shows here. Can you kind of tell the fans, you know, what they should expect from Mayweather Promotions in 2018? Oh, again, I, 2018 will be better than 2017. Um, this year... Thus far this year, we've already promoted, I think, uh, four events. Um, over the next, we just promoted the uh, Laura Heard uh, fight last week card. We have um, next Saturday's card in um, Barclays. Then we have um, May, the second week of May here in Vegas, and then got May 19 in Canada. So, again, that's four shows within a, in six-week time frame. And then that's just the first half of this year. Three of our fighters would have fought for world titles. Um, again, this, you, you know, Mayweather promotion, we rolling right now. And I'm so happy, so proud of my staff. Um, we, ju we just got great things going, um, great um, chemistry, um, a great, great group of young fighters that are fighting. And um, we're just excited. And you guys always put on such exciting shows. And like you said, you stay very busy. And I mean, obviously, most notably, you know, the fight over the summer, Floyd versus Connor. That was so exciting. Fans loved it. Now, I do know Floyd has kind of teased, you know, an MMA comeback. What are your thoughts? Would you like to see him in the octagon? Well, um, we've, we've heard from Floyd directly. So um, <laughs> I don't really have nothing to say. Um, I support him in anything that he does. Um, he's a competitor. He's a fighter at heart. He's been a fighter his entire life. And if he decides to to um, to do that, I support him 100 percent. And again, he's a competitor. Yeah. And would you guys be open if that fight does come to fruition? Kind of do something you guys did last summer where co-promotion? Um, again, <laughs> we have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. We have to wait and see what happens if anything happens.